always got to get you started with some business stuff. I'll make this uh, brief because really we're here about the cars this week. But the Mazda business in the U.S. is good. The retailers and ourselves are having a good year, enjoying and growing. Um, we had our best June since uh, 2001. Um, the Sky Active cars, the sixth generation cars, are doing very well. We have the Mazda 3, Mazda 6, and CX-5. They're all up 11%. Uh, so double-digit growth there. Um, the market's tough, uh, especially in the C car segment where the Mazda 3 competes, and uh, the Fallujah of the U.S. car business, the CD segment where Mazda 6 is at, is uh, it's normally uh, it, we're beating each other up pretty bad. But uh, uh, so far this year, so good. And that's actually before the launch of the CX-3 or the new Miata. Uh, yeah, I said Miata. It's not illegal to say Miata within Mazda, uh, as much as some of the uh, conspiracy theorists want. Uh, I'm old school, so it'll always be a Miata to me. Um, and it's always been MX-5 Miata, by the way. Uh, so, um, But uh, Skyactiv technology really represent, it represents 88% of our sales now. And that's before these two cars have gone on sale. So that's actually done a couple of things for us. That's got us as number one, a leader in fuel economy uh, in the U.S. marketplace, um, as, as described by the EPA. And again, that's before Miata or CX-3 are introduced. Um, the activity around Sky Active uh, is, is really good. Uh, this, this week we reported out that uh, CX-5 and Mazda 6 both won their classes in the J.D. Power Appeal Awards. So that shows you that the cars continually are hitting uh, the sweet spot in the market and the consumers are, are really active uh, with the products and they like the products. The other thing that we've introduced lately is the new, uh, our new advertising platform called Driving Matters. I think you guys have seen the creative. If you've not seen the creative, it's, uh, uh, we're really excited about it. We're gonna be moving everything as we launch the CX-3 and continue to launch the Miata with the Driving Matters platform, uh, not only in TV, but in digital and all the normal stuff that goes along with that. And then we'll finish up the calendar year with our Drive for Good campaign, which is our social responsibility. Uh, it generates a lot of money for charity, but the thing I'm most proud of is it generates volunteer hours. You know, we've talked about it before, is that, you know, Mazda will never outsell a company, let's say like Toyota. And we'll obviously not out donate a company like Toyota with the resources they have. But Mazda and its retailers uh, don't just give cash, we give volunteer hours. And so far we've donated 122,000 volunteer hours to our local communities. And that, in our mind, is a, is a bigger contribution than the cash. Even though the cash is a good contribution too. So uh, it all works together. So you'll see Drive for Good, you'll see Driving Matters continue out through the end of the calendar year. And, um, but so overall, the, the, the Mazda business is good. I'm excited about the cars that you're gonna drive today, today and tomorrow. Um, the thing I would ask you to do is use the opportunity, the time that we're, that we're spending here, to not only understand the, the what and the who, but the why. Uh, Mazda is a different company, it does things differently, and I think you'll see it when you drive the CX-3 and, and definitely tomorrow when you drive the MX-5. But to understand the people and spend some time with the people because you've got the luxury of that time. And understand why we do some of the things we do. Some of the things we do are crazy. And, uh, and you'll understand why with the people that we've got with this program. So take the time today, talk to the people, Stan, Ken, uh, the whole group and, and understand why the cars are developed the way they are and why they drive the way they do. The mostness of the cars I think is, uh, is critical in understanding the company as a whole and I think it'll, it'll make for uh, uh, something that your audience will really look forward to and appreciate.